Citroen wanted to have a green start in India in the form of C5 Aircross. Although that's an amazing product and still it's one of my favorite cars in India today. But it suffered stiff competition in the form of Fortuner especially. Citroen did not give up. Citroen brought in the C3 very quickly and with localization levels up to 90%, it was a very promising contender in the hot compact SUV segment. But Citroen is the only manufacturer in India to get an EV counterpart of their IC car within six months after the launch. And that's what separates them from the rest. This is the byproduct of it, the EC3 as the French car maker likes to call it. So park your EC3 and park your IC wala C3 here and call a commoner and ask him to differentiate between both these cars. He may be slightly puzzled and confused because both these cars look very very similar. Smart designers at Citroen decided that let's make this an EV without this being to look like an EV. So you have the double chevron logo here. The dual color option looks very striking. This is the white body color that you see here with some orange accents here. Of course, you have the other orange color too, but me wearing orange with the orange car would look like the complete orange, orange, orange everywhere. That's why we decided to take the white car for a change. You have the orange ORVMs in this car. You also have the orange roof here with a lot of sporty characters. And you get the typical halogen headlamp, which we saw in the C3 as well. And these are the nicely looking DRLs here. Overall, this car looks very, very sporty and you won't have a problem problem with it at all. Going slightly downwards, you have the fog lamps here which are integrated in the front bumper. These are halogen fog lamps and thankfully Citroen hasn't skipped on fog lamps as well because aajkal fashion chal raha hai maybe fog lamp nikalta hu, maybe fog lamp nikalta hu. Sab manufacturer ek ke baad, ek ke baad, ek ke baad, ek sab fog lamp nikal rahe. So Citroen hasn't followed the herd there. So that's about it from the front. I absolutely love this front design of this car. You get 195-65 R15 profile tires here, you get disc brakes in the front of the car, the alloy wheels are in resemblance with the overall design of the car, making it look very very nice. However, the talking part is this. So this is the charging port of the car, the quality of this looks quite good, however the quality of the switch could have been slightly better inside. I think that is going to be taken care of in the production cars. So I'll tell you a very very interesting concept here. The reason why the charging port of this car is here because Citroen wanted to use limited wires, the length of the wires, they wanted it to be as less as possible from the battery pack. That is the reason the charging port is here. Now another important part is, come there, I'll show something to you. So you will see a presence of fuel head here without this having any purpose in life. The reason being that this entire panel is actually taken from the C3 itself and Citroen decided let's use the same panel for C3 and E C3 so that we don't have to spend more money here, more money here. Har jaga paisa jara, paisa jara problem ho hai. That's why Citroen decided that let's use the same panel for both these cars and if they had to actually get the charging port here, they would have to re-engineer this panel, they would have to re-engineer a lot of things here to make it compatible and wires would be longer flowing all the way from here to here. Talking about the side looks of the car, you have a roof rail here which is not functional but this typical Citroen orange inserts in the air dam look very very classy and these flip type door handles weren't actually appreciated a lot by people but nevertheless they made it here in the EC3 as well of course the ORVM gets orange and black treatment because Citroen ko orange color bohut zyada pasand hai Citroen na har jaga orange dalne ki koshish karta hai and especially in the white car it looks subtle and all but orange car mein thoda zyada ho jata hai moving to the rear of the car you have the absolutely same boot capacity as in normal CT, you get a proper boot space because the battery is placed within the wheelbase here in the front. Absolutely no compromise there. Big, big, big kudos to Citroen there. And it's a proper full size spare wheel, but however, the cross section is limited by 10 millimeters. There you get a parcel tray there, and this is how you close the boot of this car. You get a couple of parking sensors, but there is no reverse camera in this car, which is shockingly missed. I want to take a moment and thank Citroen for actually bringing in an amazingly designed drive selector here. You have the reverse neutral drive and echo mode here. This looks so damn premium. Matlab, there are some elements in the car which don't look premium, which you expect to look premium, but this comes here. This drive selector is amazing. And uh, you have a dedicated button here for the echo mode of this car. You have a couple of cup holders here. There is a place to keep your phone or wallet or whatever you want. There is a normal USB charger, no type C charging point here or two-level charging socket there. And you have a glove box which is just decently sized. The door pockets are adequate. You can keep a one liter bottle here. But apart from that, don't expect anything much. You have the power windows which is here. And of course, you'll have to uh, adjust the ORVMs like this. This is something that Citroen could have addressed because initially people felt that, you know, uh, cars in 2022 don't deserve this and then you have this the silver finish here so the silver finish looks absolutely fantastic here 
and yes uh, that's about it and of course a manual handbrake so once you move inside the c3 you realize that it's quite easy to enter and exit the car because of the taller platform of this car and then you have a decent legroom here the headroom is of course very good that has been one of the usps of the c3 as well this is the ec3 not much differentiation here apart from the fact that you get the same uh, integrated headrest here of course a separate individual headrest should have been much appreciated but that is not the case here you get magazine pockets here you get two usb charging ports at least eight to types you want because that would have created variety and diversity of charging ports inside the car and then you have a provision to store your walkie talkie here just kidding this you can store anything here you have two switches here for, for the rear power windows and uh, the seat looks slightly upright the seat looks slightly firm but nevertheless it is quite comforting uh, they won't have problem in long distance traveling and there is a grab handle here for the rear passengers so the ground clearance of this car is 170 millimeters now it's dropped by 10 millimeters compared to the normal conventional c3 battery dialog hoga battery ka vajan ki wajah se gaadi thoda niche gaya hoga possibility hai but nevertheless the battery pack is going to ensure that you have lower center of gravity na paise aise 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 gaadi ko turn karoge to the lower center of gravity is going to help the car keep grounded stick to the ground and what not so talk about the battery specs this is a 29.2 kilowatt hour battery that you see here and and this is air cool it's not liquid cool so this is the 3.3 kilowatt inbuilt or rather in house charger of this car not inbuilt and you'll have to put this charger like this and there is no external wall mount needed like most of the other cars in the market you don't need to have anything you can directly go home and suppose this is the electric socket put this 15 amp plug in the socket and the car actually starts to charge that is so damn convenient and cool because a lot of high rise buildings apartments and all the people say don't charge it don't do it don't do it don't do it so all this is not going to be a problem there because you can just plug the car wherever you want and start charging you are going in a restaurant and you see that you know you are having food you want to have a juice of the car so you don't say that you say to the restaurant that I want to install a wall mount here and take some current and all that will be bad and that's the reason you can just use this 15 amp charger go put it in a restaurant you know give him some money because a lot of current is going to be used from him and then you can just charge the car and drive back so this is inside the EC3 basically there are a lot of resemblance from the typical iced C3 you get a dual tone dashboard here uh, the orange and black and I think it looks very cool funky young youthful whatever you adjectives you want to add to it please feel free to add to it and then of course you have this large infotainment system here and I absolutely love the crispiness of this even in the C3 as well and the same has been carried over here and uh, now we have 35 new smart features including navigation including matlab connected car tech and whatnot this is the list of all the 35 features the EC3 carries over 35 smart features. The AC's performance is mind blowing for a small hatchback. So another cool part is the driver's seat is height adjustable, which makes the driving experience much better. And you can see the complete bonnet from here. You, of course, get a single integrated headrest, I think, and separate headrest would have helped even from the safety perspective as well as from the comfort perspective the claimed range of this car is 320 kilometers which means that you should be able to comfortably get more than 220 230 plus and there is a big big boon considering that this car is going to be used primarily for your city usage and occasional highway usage uh, from that perspective it is quite good and very healthy to be honest but yes of course that is the claimed range and when we get the car for a slightly longer time we'll do a proper range test so the cornering ability of the car is quite good i mean the c3 was anyways impressive and uh, the ec3 kind of holds up to its expectations See, this is a proper tight corner now i'm doing it on 60 space and i'm zero percent nervous in spite of having a slightly taller ground clearance so talk about the acceleration Citroen claims that the 0 to 60 km per hour figure is 6.2 seconds. I mean, the top speed of the car is 107 km per hour. And let's talk about the high speed 70 k. What does this car have to offer? It's 101, 102, 105, 106, 107. It's 107 km per hour right now and I think the car is doing pretty good. If you think that this made any sense to you, 1%, 2% sense, if you want to see this video, then do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon there for notifications. Do not forget to follow us on Instagram for some action-packed masala reels.